Hello everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Let's Play Wing Commander. Highly recommend you play this game with a joystick. So we're just gonna start a new campaign. So the focus of my Let's Play videos is not so much to show you a walkthrough. Um, I'm gonna focus on the beginning uh, of the game and it's more to show you how the game works, what the controls are like. Um, and just to give you an overview of what the game is like and maybe you wanna play it and check it out. So you start in the simulator. Um, that's where you can put in your username. Um, but you can also test your skills and, and try to try to achieve a high score. So this is the bar and you can talk to some of these characters and they'll, they'll fill you in into the story and what's going on. And after every mission, it's highly recommended that you go back to the bar, chat with everyone and just um, get a bit of a background story, but also tips for the game. Here we've got the pilot scores. So you get how many trips you've been on and how many kills you get and as you progress you'll get a lot more kills so here we go into the barracks up here if you later if you do well you get uh, certain medals and promotions and you'll see them all here here you can save your uh, progress um, by saving by clicking here you can save and you can wake up your uh, Restore your games by clicking on the wake up option. Now I'm using all my safe games, so I'm not gonna do anything here. You can quit the DOS here or press Alt X to also quit. There are lots of keyboard shortcuts. I recommend that you um, refer to the uh, quick summary. It's called a game command summary. I'm gonna put it on the screen just so you know what you're talking about. And I recommend that you print it out and you just familiar, familiarize yourself with, with the commands. So we go to the mission hangar. And here we're gonna get a briefing of our first mission. So this is where we learn what we need to do. So I'm just gonna fast forward because you can study this uh, in, in your own time when you actually properly play the game. So here we just have to go from nav point to nav point and sort out any enemies. And here we get a nice animation. Back in the day when that came out, that was uh, that was such a cool animation and really uh, lifted the bar just in terms of uh, graphics and what you could do with the with the computer. So here we uh, taking off and with the joystick control, you can you can use plus or minus to change the speed of your ship. But if you're using a joystick, you have to click the second button and then either push forward or backwards. And if you click the second button and go left and right, you can do a roll. And if you double click you uh, trigger the afterburner. And lots of other shortcuts. Um, very important is W to switch weapons. We, we have two missiles here. Um, G to switch guns. I, don't, I only have one in this ship. Um, D is for damage. C is for communication. So when you land, for example, you have to uh, request clearance before you can actually land, but you can also communicate to your wingman and to your enemies. Um, uh, yeah. Now. What else can you do? You, with the F keys, you can change the views. So we're just gonna look forward. We can turn off, we can pause the game by pressing P. Um, control S and Control M toggles the music and the sound. Um, control E is ejecting. If you don't wanna get shot down, you can eject the game and the game will actually continue. You get a, actually an award for ejecting. Um, Depending on the mission, it might affect you out the outcome of the progress or it might not. L is locking targets, which I'm going to show you later. M, you can toggle the message duration, how long messages will appear on the screen. So N is the navigation map. So here you can uh, check out some of your nav points and see what you have to do. And we're going to fly to the uh, first navigation point. Um, mouse button number one shoots the laser. If you push both buttons, one and two, you'll fire a missile, but you can also do that with the return key. And that's pretty much it. So, okay, let's start the mission. So we press A for the autopilot and we will encounter our first enemies. There they are. So usually what I do, I press communicate and I tell my wing, wingman to break and attack. And then I'm gonna press T, find my nearest target. So we can see how the how my wingman is starting to engage the enemy. And I'm just gonna position myself a little bit from the sides. I recommend not to attack enemies head on. 
And that's where you just start to shoot them. So with the joystick it's a little bit easier than with the mouse. So I highly recommend you get one um, using various types. Logitech is pretty good, but at the moment I'm playing with a, a Thrustmaster. Slightly easier to control, it doesn't need as much, much, as much force. I'm just going to show you when you press L, you can lock your target. So that means that target remains um, locked and always on, on your, in, in your computer system. Alrighty, let's just take this one out. And let's try a missile. So if I swap my uh, with W for another missile, a heat-seeking missile, something you have to wait for it to lock on like that, and then you press the second and the first mouse button, and off it goes. So that was the first nav point. We press A again to autopilot to the next one. There's nothing here, so we do the same thing. Okay, here we go to asteroids. So here, just gotta be careful. Just navigate around them. Whenever there's something on the screen, just quickly dodge them. I have had missions where I did really, really well, and then I died in the asteroid field just because of lack of concentration. Don't go too fast. 300 is probably a little bit too fast. I'm just gonna go a little bit slower. You can also shoot them. And when something does hit you, you will actually see that the graphics of the cockpit, uh, it'll change. You, you can see uh, damage and wire sticking out and things like that. So it's pretty cool actually. It's also really cool how the stick, the animation of the of the arm and the hands, how, it, how that follows your joystick movements. That's also really, really well done. So back when that came out, that was really, uh, quite amazing to be honest. Alrighty, let's do another autopilot and we should encounter some more enemies. There they are, so just gonna see if I can, okay, let's go with attack my target and I'm gonna focus on the other one. You can also taunt the enemies by pressing communicate, enemy, you can like tell them off and try to provoke them. Not really sure if it does affect the gameplay, but it might. There we go, and one more. Alrighty. Now, just to talk about the cockpit, you've got two screens. Um, you also have, it's a bit hard to, for me to point it out now, but you've got indicator for your shield and your uh, armor, um, speed indicator, and also fuel. So if you use the afterburner a lot, which is by double uh, tapping the second button, you burn through fuel quite quickly. And we should be home now. So. Oh, there's another asteroid field, so I'm just gonna slow down a little bit. And that's just, you just need to concentrate. Um, there are some minefields later, they're a little bit harder. They, they are more aggressive, you have to really be careful with those. The asteroid fields are not too bad. Um, you'll encounter all sorts of enemies, and if you talk to the guys in the bar, they will give you some hints and tips. And you'll get different ships and different weapons and different um, missiles. So quite a bit of variety in this game. The missions will get quite hard as you continue. So here what you need to do, and that's challenging for a lot of new players, is you need to approach the Tiger's Claw from the front. So when I say from the front, I'm just going to fly a little bit over here. So this is from the side, yeah? You can't land from the side, so you have to approach it from the from the front so you're just going to navigate around it until 
it's facing to the front and then you slowly approach it you communicate with the tiger's claw and request landing and then they say you're clear to land so you just fly towards the front of the tiger's claw not too fast and it'll it'll automatic uh, there'll be an automatic landing procedure there you go once again beautiful animation and at the next scene depending on how much damage you had you get a different different reaction from the mechanics and also different graphics so you got away pretty clean sir so didn't really get too much damage and then there's a mission debriefing where you just get feedback of how you did how many how many uh, killer rafflies have we shot down so I've got five and that's it so we're back in the bar so we can check out our score so I've got five kills now every character has something new to say now so you can quickly talk to them and make sure that after each mission you save your game and that's it and you continue on to the next mission and that's basically how the game works so that's it thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and because this is my first let's play video let me know what you think um, and yep that's it so hopefully you enjoyed that and if you were thinking about whether or not you should buy this game maybe this game made your decision a little bit easier uh, regardless of whether you're gonna buy it or not alrighty have a good day